for Alexander Jackson and given to the Grants in 1865. This was an appreciation gift for all of his heroics throughout the war. Before the war, Grant lived across town on High Street. That is privately owned and not open for viewing. Now, 13 very prominent gentlemen pooled their money, purchased this home, and just gave it to them. Now, um, for the war, um, Grant uh, was living across town, and he had moved here to Galena from the St. Louis area. Two of his brothers was operating a leather goods store downtown. Learning one brother was dying of tuberculosis, he moved his family north here to help out in the family business. Very proud of Mr. Grant because he went from just a clerk in the leather goods store to President of the United States in less than 10 years. A lot of promotions in the military through that time period too. Now as you wander through our home, please bear in mind that the wallpaper and the carpeting are not what was here during Grant's time, but these are typical popular patterns representing that time period. Now just for a couple of weeks during election, a young man lived here with them. Like our White House photographer, he did illustrations of home life with the Grants. The picture there on the foyer table is one of the pictures he drew. You are going to see these periodically through our home. They also will help you to authenticate and identify furniture. Ninety percent of everything you'll see today did belong to the Grants. And we'll start over here in the library. Now this was the General's favorite room. Some campaign meetings for his presidency were held in here. The furniture is all original. The bookcases freestand. Many of the books belong to the grants, but some are only from the time period. Far to the back between the windows is his favorite chair. And you know he liked that chair so well, he hauled it down this hill, loaded it aboard the train, and off to the White House. Right next to it is his smoking stand. During the war, Grant took up that very nasty habit of smoking cigars, and reportedly he smoked 10 to 20 a day, which is probably why he succumbed to throat cancer. Now, before the war, he didn't smoke a lot of cigars, just on occasion. But the odor of the cigars masked the odor of the wounded, death, and dying. With the loss of lives we had during that time period, it's no wonder he became very addicted. The statue in here is a very famous John Rogers original. It is titled Council of War, and it shows Grant, Lincoln, and Edwin Stanton, who was at that time Secretary of War. And resting on the center table is Mrs. Grant's Bible. It weighs pretty close to 20 pounds. It is gold inscribed Mrs. U.S. Grant in dated 1865. So I'll give you all time to look over the library and then we'll step into the parlor. You are going to get another view of the library as you come down from all the stairs. Now the furniture in this room once again is all original to the home and this is all covered in horsehair and silk thread. This is very hot and scratchy and extremely uncomfortable. But it was very durable in most Victorians covered with it. And did you know that General didn't, when he didn't want people to stay very long, this is a room he brought them all to. Now don't we all wish we had some of it. <laughs> Now, these were all recovered in the 50s, but in the same color, fabric, and pattern that was here during Grant's time. The black table against the wall next to the fireplace is a tip-top tea table, sometimes called a candle table. Top of that one is covered with paper mache, and it's inlaid with mother of pearl. This portrait of General is our favorite. Usually, we see him rather stern and stoic and a little bit war-weary. But here he has the hint of a smile, he's 57 years old, and he had sat only for four hours in Sacramento for a very famous portrait artist by the name of Frank Pebble. Yeah. After serving two terms as president, he and Mrs. Grant went on a little tour. They visited over 40 countries all over the world. All heads of state gifted them. The red vases are made of Bohemian glass. 
These are gifts to the grants from the very first king of Bulgaria. Paintings on either side, God bless you. Paintings on either side of the fireplace are scenes of Mexico. These are gifts from the Mexican government and painted by a very famous artist by the name of Jose Velasco. Now there behind you on the wall are the most famous soldiers that fought for the Union Army during the war. These are all West Point graduates, very, very good friends, and America's first four-star generals. Phil Sheridan is on the left, Grant, of course, standing, and William Tecumseh Sherman is on this side. Now take a good look at General Sherman, because he's never going to look that good in any picture you see of him again. Sherman always is portrayed very scruffy and unkempt. But by God, he does clean up nice, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> now our piano here, this is the only piece of furniture you're going to see that did not belong to the Greens. This podium here is going to show you a picture of the original as you pass by look, and you'll see how very similar it is to what we have. This one belonged to a lady that lived right here in Galena and her family and the Grants were very good friends. Knowing of the similarity in the two on her passing, she put this in her will for us. In 1911, we had a very bad storm. It took a lot of the roof and we lost at that time almost everything in our kitchen. You're going to find our kitchen the only room in the house that is time restored. But everything you're going to see up to the kitchen, except for this piano, did belong to the Grants. Do you have any questions? What? Now, once again, the furniture in this room is all original. Way back here in the corner, I have a large bronze urn on a teak wood table, and that is a gift to Mrs. Grant on the world tour from the citizens of Yokohama, Japan. There is 11 feet of shelving. Probably anything pertaining to the dining room would have been stored in that. During the Civil War, there was a very famous photographer by the name of Matthew Brady. He photographed Mrs. Grant as First Lady. The painting you see over here over the mantel is a painting uh, derived from that picture he took of her. Now, in those days when you became president, you moved into a very large and empty White House and newly elected furnished everything. All the silver you see displayed did belong to the Grants and it was used all eight years in the White House. The dishes are heavily in China. Mrs. Grant purchased two sets of china while she was first lady. White House china, which is still there, and these particular dishes she bought just especially to be used at her daughter Nellie's wedding. Yeah. Nellie married in the White House at the age of 19 during Grant's second term in office, and these dishes were used at Nellie's wedding breakfast. Now the roast on the table, not at all like the general would have had it. The blacker the cook got the meat, the better he did like it. He also didn't like to eat anything that stood to lights, and he didn't like fish or game. So it does sound like he was a bit fussy. But during the war years, he weighed only 125 to 35 pounds, and he was five foot eight. But on the world tour, they said he gained another 50 to 60 pounds. Now, over here, you can't see this very well, but this is the official photo of Grant Dunn in the White House that you do see in our $50 current. The center picture up here is titled, Lady Washington's Reception. This is a very popular picture that hung in many homes during that time. Uh, there is, uh, the original is in the Smithsonian, and a colorized version of it does hang in Mount Vernon in Washington's home. And here at this end of the sideboard, I have Elihu Washburn. He was a lawyer and a congressman 17 years in this district and a very good friend to Grant very instrumental in helping